Hello there, my name is Ismaus, and today we're going to continue with looking at uh, different new features that are coming up in Blender 2.82. And uh, this time we're going to be looking at uh, what features are coming up in Glyph Pencil and look at how we can use them to push our artistic capabilities. So today we're going to be looking at the multiple strokes uh, modifier that has been added to the Glyph Pencil. And uh, we're going to be using that to create uh, something as like this. So let's go in and uh, look at uh, what we can do. Create a new project and uh, instead of using general, I'm just going to select uh, 2d animation so that i can go directly into the, the 2d animation uh, layout and uh, let me write something let me just write something like uh, hello something like that and then line again multiple line modifier just offset the lines a bit i'll just go with that I can also increase the number of uh, lines you want, but uh, I'll just go with three. And uh, uh, if you want, uh, you can turn on uh, enable fading. Uh, that's, that will let you uh, kind of fade uh, the outside strokes uh, by a bit uh, like that. But for what we're going to go for, uh, since we're going to convert this into a 3D object, uh, this will not help us. So uh, you can also increase the thickness of, uh, this, of these lines. As you can see, and uh, yeah, play with the center and other things you, if, if you wanted to. Uh, but uh, what we're going to do is uh, just convert this into its own object, into an object uh, that we can add uh, some thickness to and then uh, create uh, this 70s effect. So let's apply the modifier because if you don't apply it and uh, just convert uh, the, the stroke directly, you will not have uh, the multiple lines. So make sure you apply the stroke and uh, if you get the if you're getting this error uh, just go out of uh, draw mode into object mode and then apply the modifiers uh, then we can tab in we can go to the layout uh, uh, layout or panel now this is what we have and now we can convert this into a into a curve so i'll just right click and then convert this to a curve and now i can hide the stroke so if you're not seeing uh, the curves you have edit you have added just tab into edit mode and uh, tab out and you should start seeing uh, what you created so then i can go in and uh, give this uh, some bevel uh, to give it some bit of thickness and uh, now what we can do is uh, after we have done with this we can go in into the shade uh, the shading layout shading and apply some materials so uh, also change my background color back to black uh, something like that select my object give it a new uh, shader uh, make sure it's immersive so that we can see the object and uh, make it light up uh, but uh, what I want to do is uh, change uh, the colors a bit as let me see if I can have if I have an example here something like this where the inside uh, ring is a different color from the outside rings or is not as powerful as the outside ring so uh, for that uh, what we are going to do uh, is uh, separate these objects or just convert this into into a mesh so that we can apply multiple materials so now if i select this object uh, this out outside ring maybe this as well and this ctrl l i can give them a different material also make sure that uh, it's emissive but a different color you can see what we have so I'm going to do this for the rest of the uh, the layers. Uh, but what I want what I want to do I want uh, the base color to have the same color as the emission. So what I'm going to do is add. So what I'm so I'm going to add the RGB node. Uh, connect this to there and uh, connect this to this, and, uh, so that I can control the color with one object with one input. So let me change this to about give it a value of three. And I'm also going to give this add a boom effect so i'm just going to duplicate this material three times uh, for, for all the lines we have so if i remove this one two and i'm just going to make start making variations so this is going to be for this object here assign and i just give it different uh, color have this at one make 
sure we are also applying this material to the second line like that and then for the third line also let us give it its own material now we can start playing with the look we want to go we want to get you see we are getting that 80s vibe and then you can now add maybe a wall background but uh, remember in Eevee uh, the emission shader doesn't produce any light so we need to add our own point lights uh, to kind of create uh, the illumination that uh, these lights would produce so duplicate this around a few times now you can add a brick texture to this and you have that yeah so that's how you can use multiple lines uh, this is just to show off uh, how one way you can use uh, that the new uh, modifier we have got uh, in Glyph Pencil. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.